This is the Youngno 50mm f1.8, and I think it may just be the best prime lens for a beginner on the Fuji X mount. As a beginner, when you're ready to move on from the kit lens, choosing the first lens after that can be tough. There's a lot of different options out there. They can get expensive real fast. Do you want to prime or do you want to zoom? It's not an easy decision. So when Youngno sent me their 50mm f1.8 for Fuji X mount, I had a good feeling it would make for a great beginner lens. While Youngno did send me this lens to review, they aren't paying me and they have no say in what I'm posting, so all my thoughts are my own. With that, let's get into this review, starting with build quality. It's no secret that Youngno is a newer brand that's better known for their value over premium quality. That being said, when I took this 50mm out of the box for the first time, I was surprised on how good it felt in the hand. Its all metal construction gave it a really nice solid weight and heft to it. It didn't feel crappy, it really felt nice to hold. Even comparing it to my Tamron 20 to 40, it was heavier, it was sturdier, and it felt a little more solid due to that all metal construction. So props to Youngno for that. I also wasn't expecting things like the LCD display that shows what mode you're in, or your aperture, or the USB-C port for updates. It's these little nice touches that really show that Youngno put some thought into the build of this lens. Obviously build quality is important, but what's even more important is the image quality of the lens. So how is the image quality of this 50mm f1.8? Honestly, I didn't have great expectations going into it. Knowing Youngno and knowing it was a cheaper lens, I didn't think it was going to be super great when it came to image quality. And I was impressed. I was actually really happy with the image quality that this 50mm lens could produce. I actually found this lens to have a bit of character to it. It was a little more unique than your typical lenses. It was just a little less clinical than your top brand lenses, which I liked and it was a nice change. But that being said, I did find this lens to be a little softer than other lenses I've used in the past. I'm used to using high quality top of the line Sony glass, so switching to this lens, I could definitely feel that it was a bit softer, but it wasn't really super off-putting and it didn't feel like it held me back. I would say that this lens is decently better than a kit lens, but it's not reaching that high-end level that you'd expect from an expensive prime lens. It offers a nice middle ground and a nice value where you're not paying an arm and a leg, but you're getting better quality than a kit lens. Now the big question when it comes to cheaper lenses is how is the autofocus? Does it compare to the more high-end lenses? Now I was shooting on a Fuji X-T20, which is an older Fuji camera and it doesn't have the best autofocus. That being said, I felt like the autofocus of the 50mm f1.8 compared pretty closely to the kit lens on the same camera. The motors were also silent, it didn't feel clunky, it didn't feel like it was super jittery. So overall, I think you can expect good autofocus performance and I would expect even better autofocus performance when you're using it on a newer Fuji camera that has a better AF system compared to the X-T20. Clearly this lens has a lot of pros, but what can it improve on? The first thing I think it needs to improve on is flaring control. I think the lens coating is just a little weak. I got a lot of flaring with this lens and it didn't always look controlled or the best. A good flare is nice, but when the flares aren't controlled or cause weird artifactings, it's never a good thing. I just want a little bit more control when it comes to flaring on this lens. But as I said, for the price, you can't expect everything. And this is where the second improvement I think could come in. I think they spent a lot of money on the metal construction, which feels great. But I think if they used a cheaper plastic and got rid of the LCD screen, they could have added an aperture ring, which on a Fuji camera I think is super important. When I'm using my Fuji cameras, I hate to not have an aperture ring on my lens. It messes with my button placements, it messes with my workflow. I think Fuji cameras and Fuji lenses should have an aperture ring, and would have loved to see a little more plastic on the lens and gotten rid of that LCD screen to put an aperture ring. That would have just greatly improved my user experience of this lens. Who is this Youngno 50mm f1.8 lens for? Well, as I said in the beginning, I think it's the perfect lens to get after you've kind of started to outgrow your kit lens. This lens is going to give you a bit more compression, a bit more background separation, and when you're just starting out, that's something you're really looking for and trying to achieve. I think at the price point, this is an easy entry level lens into prime lenses and into getting a bit more compression, a better low light, and a more professional quality look compared to the kit lens. As we've said, this lens also doesn't break the bank, which I think makes it a great lens for a landscape photographer. Mainly landscape photographers who are shooting wide angle lenses don't often have a great need for a 75 millimeter equivalent lens. And to get a cheap 75 millimeter equivalent for the occasional portrait makes a lot of sense. You can leave this lens on a shelf and not use it often and you won't feel guilty because you didn't spend a ton of money on it. I'm super excited for this lens from Young now. I think it kind of reminds me of Samyang. A couple years ago, they weren't nearly as good as the higher end manufacturers 
and they were kind of known as a cheaper manufacturer and lately within the last couple of years they've really improved their quality and they're starting to compete with the top lens manufacturers and I think if Youngno keeps on this path we'll have the same thing going for them. In five years Youngno might be more of a household name and I'm really excited to see this competition is always good when it comes to technology. For now go out and shoot some photos, enjoy.